So today I'm going to teach you how to create a seamless carousel on Instagram. So normally when I upload to Instagram, I upload portrait photos because portrait photos fill up someone's newsfeed a hell of a lot more than landscape photos. When you upload a landscape photo onto Instagram, it crops it to be really small. But recently I've learned how to do something called a seamless carousel image. Not only does it look really impressive, but if you have any landscape photos that you do want to upload to Instagram, I think this is a really good way of doing it. So let's get started. What you're gonna need is Adobe Photoshop and a landscape photo. Now if you don't have Adobe Photoshop you can get a seven day free trial. So first of all we're going to open Adobe Photoshop and in the left hand side you can see where it says create new. You're going to click create new. We're now going to change the width and the height of the canvas. So first of all we're going to change the width to 2160 and then we're going to change the height to 1350. And now you can see that your orientation has changed to landscape here and then we're going to click create. So for this seamless carousel I'm going to use an image of a lighthouse that I took in the Isle of Skye. I'm going to drop that onto the canvas and as you can see it doesn't fit that canvas size so all I'm going to do is hold down the alt button and I'm going to drag that image out so it fits. So I'm going to crop it like that and then I'm going to click enter on the keyboard. So because I've had to enlarge the image to fit the canvas size, I'm now going to export it as a PNG file so it keeps all the quality as much as possible. The reason why I'm going to do that is because for me to perfectly predict the middle of that image so it can be seamless is probably not 100% possible. I think I've got a good eye for things but not that good. So we're going to export this now as that canvas size as a PNG. So we're going to click File, Export, Quick export PNG and I'm going to save that in a folder called create seamless and we're going to call that lighthouse full. So now that that image is exported we're just going to hide this original image by clicking on this little eye in the right hand corner. So now our canvas is blank again. And what we're going to do is with the PNG that we just created we're now going to drop that onto the canvas. So now that that PNG file is on your canvas, we're going to go to the top and we're going to click on image. We're then going to click on canvas size. And as you can see where it says new size, we're going to change centimeters to pixels. And you can see there that the width and height is what we inputted when we first opened up Adobe Photoshop. So all we're going to do is we're going to change the width and we're going to change that to 1080. We're going to leave the height the same and then we're going to click OK and click proceed. So now our canvas is the exact size that you need for Instagram. So now I'm going to move this image until it snaps into place all the way to the right. So as you can see when I pull that across to the right there's a pink line down the side here and it snaps in perfectly there. This is what's going to appear on the second photo that you swipe to on Instagram. So I'm going to click file, save as and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Instagram ready. I'm going to change the file name to Lighthouse Right in all caps and I'm going to change the format to JPEG. I'm going to click save and now with that same image I'm going to drag it all the way across to the left and as you can see it also snaps into place like that and you can see the pink line down the left hand side. So now I'm going to click File, Save As, and I'm going to call it Right House Left. And then I'm going to change the format again to JPEG. So now that your images are exported, we're going to put them on the phone. So when you go to upload your images on Instagram, obviously make sure that in that bottom left hand corner, the two arrows are pushed out. So then you're going to click on two little image icons at the bottom, which basically means you can select more than one image and you're going to select your left hand side one as number one and your right hand side one as number two and then you're going to click next in the top hand corner. If you are going to edit these photos in the Instagram app as well just make sure you edit them exactly the same because you don't want them looking different when you go to swipe across. So you're going to click next 
And then just to check that that carousel is completely seamless, you can click in the top left hand corner and you can swipe through. And as you can see, it's completely seamless and it looks really, really cool. So all that's left to do now is to write a caption, tag people and post it. So if you do also want people to see that landscape image in full view, then what we're gonna do over here is in the right hand corner, we're gonna hide that PNG. Then we're gonna drag that PNG back onto that new canvas that's shaped 1080 by 1350. We're going to drag it back on top so it automatically goes in the dead center with a nice little letterbox around it and we're going to export it like so and then you can then use that as your third image for the carousel so you've got the nice seamless ones and then it swipes onto the full image. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you enjoyed it then please give it a little like a little comment and all of that stuff and I'll see you in the next one.